G'day guys, welcome to today's vlog. If you've noticed behind me, I'm in the office, and if you see quite a lot of packages there, it's not because I've made heaps of sales, although actually, I have made quite a lot of sales today. But before I get to that, I have been working on creating a better storage system of my inventory using codes so that they're easy to track. So when I go away and go on like a trip or something like that, it makes it easier for my mum to ship out the items for me because she's the one that ships out the items while I'm gone. And what I normally do is copy and paste the title of the item and some pictures of it in the email that I send to her. And then she searches through all the items and I've been looking at it from her perspective and she's pretty busy as well and I want to free up some time for her and I can do that by just creating a code and I send her that code and she can find the item straight away and send it out. Everything's packed up and ready to go. All she has to do is slap a label on it and I think that's going to save so much time. It is a little bit of time up front to organize everything like that and most of the day today has been spent doing that. It is a Sunday today so it is a day well spent. It is raining pretty hardcore outside as well so it's better to be inside getting this all organized rather than being outside in the wet and cold. So basically mm -hmm. to make everything pretty straightforward this is what I've done. So I've created some codes here. This is sort of like a sticky piece of paper, so you can peel it off and it sticks straight on. So what I do is I cut out the little label. So PS stands for pants and shorts. And then I have a number from one all the way down. I've got another page here that goes up to 50. So that should keep me busy for a while. And all I do is I go PS, which is here. And this is what my system looks like at a holistic sort of view. I'm almost getting there, almost everything is pretty much packaged up and ready to go for when it sells. A few of these items here are what I've sold, so there's no point doing that. PS is pants and shorts, and then I have the numbers stuck on the bags right at the end, and it's all organized right here, and it's in numerical order as well. And also with the shoes, they're packed up and ready to go too, so the code for shoes is SHO, and then they're numbered from SHO1, SHO2, SHO3. So if you guys don't have a coding system and you want to use my one, I'll have a link down below for the Google Sheets document that I created with this coding. If you're selling the same item, same type of item, short sleeve, long sleeve shirts, shorts and pants, t-shirts, shoes jackets, jumpers, suits, and all that kind of stuff, then this will work pretty well. The codes are sort of similar to the words, so it kind of makes it easy to remember, and that's kind of how I like it. But again, I'll have a link down below for that uh, Google Sheet if you want to use that. It, it took me maybe like an hour or so to create that. But today I've made quite a few sales. I've just been, as I've been editing the listings and adding each code to the listing, the current listing, that, I think, has helped me make quite a lot of sales because, again, going back to having consistent activity in eBay, either listing new items, tweaking the listing, changing the prices, changing the description, doing all that sort of stuff, sort of puts you up in the rankings to help you make more sales. It could be just a really huge coincidence, but every time I do it, it works. It's a proven strategy to gain more sales. So if you haven't tried something like this, I would suggest trying it. It works. So let me head over to my eBay account and I'll show you guys how much I've sold for today. It is pretty late tonight and I've just started this vlog like around dinner time. It is about 10 to 10 at night. So for Sunday today, we're sitting at almost 300 bucks. So that's in net as well, that's not profit. But I guess that's not bad. But I was gonna get those items out and ready to be shipped out for tomorrow. But what I think I might do is do that in the morning. So you guys will have to wait until tomorrow's video to see what I sold. I'm also, at the moment, just creating a list for some thrifts that I'm going to be hitting up tomorrow. I'm going the further east of Victoria, past Warrigal and past Pakenham. Like, I'm past Pakenham, past Warrigal, and even further out to, like, Sale and stuff. I haven't hit up those thrifts in a while, and I'm planning to hit up maybe 30 or so tomorrow. So tomorrow's gonna to be a full on thrift day. As opposed to just sourcing items from thrift stores, I'm also trying to free up my time and find items in bulk, wholesale, you know, bulk lots. So then that helps to grow my eBay inventory as well because I do want to get over the, 100, the 120 items or so that I have for sale. Because with my 
sell-through rate of almost 50%. I think if I list 500 items, then I'm going to sell 250 if it stays true to that amount. So I just got to really improve the quantity of inventory that I have in my eBay. So that's what I'm also trying to get over as well. So just closing the vlog now. It's been a pretty full-on and busy day for me today. I almost forgot to vlog the day. It was super busy. Just been doing heaps of stuff. I'm also just winding down the night, watching some of my vlogs or videos on YouTube from like a year ago or so. I'm currently watching the video when I picked up the uh, maybe 80, I think it was, pairs of Subi jeans, brand new with tags. I paid like 330 bucks for these and I ended up netting maybe six grand in total when I sold them all. But I'm just watching that video at the moment. Uh, it's, it's really cool to look back on the videos that I've made in the past. It's kind of cool to see like where I was at maybe a year ago and like how I talked and how I looked and how I've changed. And it's cool to sort of look at the videos and think, oh, that's like, it makes me feel eerie inside because it's not as good a quality as what I could potentially make now. And I guess that's a good thing because I have made improvements and it's always good to look back and see a video that you're not too confident about now because you know you've made some improvements and changes over time. And that's probably one reason why I do these YouTube videos is, is so that I could watch it back here a year later and see what I was doing that day. But having all that said, that is about it for today's video, everyone. Thought I'd just make a quick vlog just showing you my progress with today and what I've been doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, make sure you give me the good old thumbs up. And also, if you have any questions, I will hopefully answer them in the comment section below. I've been pretty uh, lazy with replying to all the comments, but I think it was last night or this morning, I just nailed down and tried to answer all the comments that I didn't answer to. So if I don't answer to your comments, don't think I'm an asshole. it's just because I'm pretty busy and I sort of lose track of the comments and sometimes I don't make enough time to answer. But do leave a comment and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching. See ya.